Hi, I'm Rebecca Faber with Reverb, and today I'm gonna show how to turn a violin into a cello, sort of. I was very excited when I found these. They're Daddario Helicor Active Strings. And especially because sometimes I get low frequency envy from my cello friends who get to play such beautiful repertoire on the low frequencies that I usually cannot play. What these are, are violin strings made for the violin, but they are made an octave lower than our normal register. So, this would be our A. Usually that A is an octave higher. So all the strings are the same names. It's E, A, D, G, again, but it's just an octave lower. So it puts it in a cello range or you know, a viola range. For being on a, such a small box compared to a cello, they work remarkably well. But let me give you a few tips that might help if you want to try them out. What I found is that when you put them on, be very careful when you start winding them because the tension is not nearly as tight as violin strings. So if you start winding up, if you put them on and start winding your pegs up based on the tension that you feel, you're probably gonna pop it. So what I do is when you're putting, when you're installing them, putting them on, start putting it on, but do it based on pitch instead of how, how much pressure you feel. And then you should be pretty good. What I've also found is that um, sometimes you can get like a little bit of a wah sound, like a I tried to use a darker rosin. I ended up having at home jade rosin, which is a darker rosin. What darker, darker rosin does is it, it's stickier, so it helps grab onto the string more. So you get, a, you get it to grab a little bit more rather than kind of pressing it and it not really grabbing it, and then you kind of put too much pressure. It just, it makes it a little bit easier. And also, this is what cellos use is the darker rosin. A third tip is to uh, put fine tuners on every string. Cello players usually have uh, four fine tuners on each string. Uh, violinists usually just have the one. But with the, with the way that they tune, I found it a lot easier just to put all four on, just like a cello. The string response is more like a cello, so when you play vibrato, for example, it sounds very beautiful to have the, the really wide vibrato that cellos have. Let me give you an example. So if you do it, um, if you don't press as hard or if you do it a little bit narrower, it still sounds good, but if you want it to sound more like a cello, do wider vibrato. So now I'm gonna play a little bit of the Elgar Cello Concerto. So check out the Helicor strings and you can find them on Reverb.